can you elaborate a little more on you know your shift in your mindset and you being a being centered leader and creator how did you blend it with the technology the study of technology your research and and, and then creating all these books which are super focused on leveraging technology to create results yeah so underneath all of it is i think a love of people that i cultivated mm -hmm. i collected baseball cards as a kid and the way i stayed in sales for 20 years is i just started to be curious and the curiosity kept me but when i found the missing ingredient of service and that's why i'm calling this service based prospecting and you see this in the go-giver and you see this in the work of the trinity and the being coaches to me i'd been clued into wallace waddles and the science of getting rich and charles honnell and wolfgang von good and, and you know james campbell and emerson all these neo-transcendentalists from the turn of the century but i was really enamored by neville goddard and some of those processes. So I released a secret paper called Musification, which could become the Justin Michael Method 3.0. Uh, we'll see, which we're seeing this in books like 10X is the new 2X, or just the idea of really thinking impossible dreams. And then like Werner Erhard states, you know, creating a future from the future, yes, not from the past. And I know her, um, uh, Steve Chandler has referred to that work as well. But for me, I always had a profound sense and compass, like there's more for me. So I was in a sales training, actually in a snowstorm in Chicago um, at Salesforce. And I was doing like the challenger sale training. And that was the day I found Tony Hughes, my mentor. And I was like, well, who's challenged this idea? And I found a YouTube video and it had like a few hundred views. And I reached out to him in Australia and he took me on to mentor me. And after 10 years, he built up to 300,000 followers. And he's one of the top five B2B strategic selling people in the world. And through him, I got the first publishing deal with HarperCollins and then got a Wiley deal. And then this new book is with Jeremy Jones. It's been tremendous. Uh, when I was 10 years old, my teacher in school said, hey, of, of 5,000 kids who've come through this elementary school, you're the best writer. And I won a poetry contest, all this. I didn't write a book till I was 40. I waited 30 years. So my message to everyone is don't die with your music still inside you. You know, <laughs> you have talents and you have gifts. And if everyone is telling you, you should do that, do it. Cause you may become wildly successful doing that. Um, which is interesting. So my first book did well, it was a bestseller, but this book that I've released right now, as we're speaking is a black swan. Like right now, the top book on sales in the world are my two books. And they're both number one at once on Amazon right now. And if that's not a testament to uh, realizing a visualization, a visualization, I don't know what is. <laughs> Losing my words here. 